Okay, so the 2017 paper one, question seven, part A. Um, draw the next pattern of tiles. Now pause the video, have a go of that, and press play again to see the solution. So what you're looking for is what, how does it change? So here is three, here is four, here is five. So the next one, the top row, is going to be six. So two, three, four, five, six here. There's um, one added on here. Here there's two added on. Here there's three added on. So here there's going to be four added on. And same on this side. Three, two, one. So this will be four. One, two, three, Okay, so nice and easy, just draw the next pattern. Okay, part B, complete the table below. So again, um, pause the video, have a go of that, and press play for the solution. So they've already done the first one. There's five tiles in the first pattern. And again, notice that the pattern number is represented by N. So this would be T, um, N is one. Here, T, N here is two. That would be what N stands for. Okay, if you're writing them as T, be term one, term two. Um, so N is this number here. Uh, in the second, now for passions one, two, three, and four, you have them there so you can just count the tiles. So when you count the tiles in the first one, you get five. When you count the tiles in the second one, you get eight. When you count the tiles in the third one, you get 11. When you count the tiles in the next one, you get 14. So without having to draw out the fifth one, you can see what the connection is. And every time it's going up, by three, okay? So the next one, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now, that's called the first difference, okay? How much it goes up by, what's the difference between these two numbers? And you can see that the first difference is a constant, it's three every time, so that means it's an arithmetic sequence rather than a quadratic one. If it was a quadratic one, each of those numbers would be different and the second difference would be all the same. But when the first difference is all the same number, then you know it's an arithmetic sequence. Okay? Okay, part C. Um, assuming the passion continues, the number of the tiles in the nth pattern, that means in any pattern, of the sequence is given by the formula Tn equals Pn plus Q. Find the value of P and Q. Now we did this in one of the previous questions. So again, pause, have a go and play again to see the solution. So Tn is Pn plus Q, uh, but you know that T1 is equal to 5, okay, because uh, we worked that out. So if you replace 1, N with 1, okay, so then you can work out that T1 is P1 plus Q equals 5. Okay, uh, P by 1 gives you just P plus Q equals 5. So that's your first equation. Now you need a second one to get a simultaneous equation to work them out. So let's take T2. This, in this case, N will be 2. 
and you know from your table that T2 has eight tiles in it. So again, we can do T2 is P by two plus Q equals eight. Okay, um, so that's two P's plus Q equals eight. Okay, now I want to combine these, but I want to get rid of the Q's. So I have a plus Q there, and I have a plus Q here. So with this one here, the one that has no number with the P and has the smaller number here, I'm going to change all the signs. So P becomes minus P, Q becomes minus Q, and five becomes minus five. Now I can put these two equations together. So two P's minus the P, leaves you with one P. These two Q's are gone. Q minus Q leaves you no Q's. And eight minus five leaves you with three. So now you know that P is three. So knowing that, you can go back to this one here, okay, before you changed all the signs. So P plus Q equals five. And instead of P, we now know that P is three. So that's three plus Q equals five. Now you can probably see at this stage, what you add to three to get five, you add two to it. But if you're not sure, or if it's not that obvious, take the three from that side, take the three from that side. Remember, whatever you do to one side of the equals, always do to the other to keep the balance. And so that's gone, and you're left with Q equals five minus three, which is two. So your P is three, and your Q is two. So uh, C part two, how many tiles are in the 20th pattern? So again, pause. Have a go of it and press play to see the solution. So we know now that Tn, we had that Tn was equal to um, Pn plus Q. Now we know that P equals 3 and Q equals 2. So now we can work out that any term is equal to 3 times N plus 2. Okay, that's how we figured out. Now, you're looking for T20, isn't it? 20th pattern. So we're going to put in N equal to 20. So now we have three 20s plus two. Three 20s are 60 plus two. So in the 20th pattern, there are 62 tiles. So, C part three, find which pattern has exactly 290 tiles. So for this one, again, pause, have a go and come back for the, so for this one part. And um, we know that TN equals 3n plus 2. But this time we're trying to find out what n. We don't know what n is. But what we do know is that this is equal to 290. We know that has exactly 290 in it. So what you want to do is you want to isolate the n. You want the n on this side and the numbers on this side. So I'm going to take that 2 away from there to get to naught. Whatever you do to the equals, you do to the other side of the equals. So here we're left with 3n, that's gone, equals 290 minus 2 is 288. So if 3 of them is 288, to find out what one of them is, divide by 3. And again, whatever you do to the one side of the equals, you always do to the other side of the equals, keep the balance. So you're left here with n equals 
288 divided by 3 gives you 96. So the answer is that pattern 96 has 290 tiles. So part D and part one of part D show that Sn equals 3n squared plus 7n over 2, that that is a formula for the total number of tiles needed for the first n patterns. Okay, pause it, have a go of it and press play to see the solution. Now for this one, we need to go to our maths formula. Where did I put that? Over here. That's the big hat. Okay, Let's see if we can get this in here now. So it takes a while for the owl focusing. Um, I focus on the right place, yeah. Okay, so you want this one here. Sn equals 2n by 2a plus n minus 1d. Okay, and that Sn formula is always the same in the tables. And you find it on page 22 of your tables. Focus that now. Focus. There we go. Right, so we're going to write that up. So Sn equals n over 2 by um, <clears throat> 2n. plus n minus 1 by d, okay? And that's n multiplied by all of that and over 2. Okay, just sometimes the way this is written can be a little bit confusing. Oh, sorry, that should be 2a, not 2n. All right, now, what you want to do, first of all, is you want to replace a and d with numbers, because you want to get this just so that it's in terms of n. So a, what you want for a is how many tiles were in the first pattern. And we know that in the first pattern, there was five tiles. Then d is how much did the tiles increase by every time, it's called the common difference. And the common difference in this case was each time the tiles increased by three tiles. So your A is five and your D is three. So we're going to put those in here now instead of A and D. So Sn equals N over two by two. And instead of A, we have five plus N minus one. And instead of D, we have three. Okay, so now I'm going to do out the multiplication. So um, two by five, gives us 15 and n minus one by three gives us, well, n by three gives us three n's and minus one by three gives us minus three. Now, I'm going to, when I write this back in here, I'm going to put start with the n's because you always sort of start with the letter and then the numbers after. So now we have n over 2 and instead of all of this we have 3n minus 3 plus 15. Okay and why is it plus 15? Because it was this has no minus in front of it so it's plus. Um, now the 3 and the 15 okay um, so you want to oh so I just do 2 by 5 equals 15 oh, for God's sakes 2 by 5 equals 10 not 15 let's try that again okay so minus 3 plus 10 
gives you seven. That's basically 10 take away three. Okay, so now you have n over two by three n plus seven. Now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, n, this top line, n by three n plus seven, n by 3n gives you 3n squared, and n by 7 gives you plus 7n. So now what we have is we have n, uh, sorry, this is what we've just worked out. We have 3n squared plus 7n, and that is all over the 2. Okay, and now we have shown that went to the wrong place. That even. Okay? Same. 3n squared plus 7n over 2. 3n squared plus 7n over 2. So, D part two. Find the number of tiles needed to build the first 30 patterns. So pause it there, have a go of it, come back to me for the solution. So we know that Sn is 3n squared plus 7n all over 2. Okay, we know that from the previous thing that we've done. Um, now, you're looking for the first 30 patterns, so you're looking for when n is 30, okay? So, s30, we're going to put 30 in everywhere we have n, is 3 times 30 to be squared, plus 7 thirties all over 2. Now, at this point, you should be able to put the whole of that into your calculator and get the answer. Just type it in as you see it there. Bring up your fraction, type the whole lot in. Um, 30 squared multiplied by 3, that gives you 2,700 plus 7 by 30 gives you 210. And that's all over 2. So you have um, 2,700 plus 210 gives you 2,910. And that's still over 2. So 2,910 divided by 2. So that's what over 2 means. Gives you 1,455. And so your answer is you need 1,455 tiles.